Yo, before we get to the video, if you struggle with being addicted to your phone and you want to learn how to use social media in a way that's actually productive for your life, I have a free community with a full course that will teach you exactly how to break your phone addiction and start actually living your life. Now, with that being said, let me tell you a story. It's July of 2022. I'm 17 years old, standing on a beautiful beach with a beautiful view, about to pull my hair out. See, this was the summer that I first started working as a camp counselor. And the thing with being a camp counselor is that oftentimes you have to switch activities. And if you have any experience with this, you know that it takes forever to do anything with a massive group of kids, whether it's switching from activities or just getting them to start something, it always takes forever. And the thing was, we were just switching from going from swimming and doing like a bunch of activities on the beach to going for a hike. And these kids did not want to leave. It was taking them forever to get out of the water and get changed into their gear for hiking and it was actually cutting into the time that we needed to go for this hike and it was just like they were moving slower than molasses it was extremely slow and some of the kids were actually even like resistant to put their shoes on and get going for this hike because no one seemed to want to actually go they all wanted to just keep playing at the beach but we had to move on to this next thing and while I was just standing there waiting, about to pull my hair out, annoyed from waiting for these kids for so, so long, I eventually just got an idea that I knew would speed them up. As they were all getting ready, and there was a few who were ready, eventually I just asked, hey, who here thinks that they can beat me in a race? And eventually, pretty much all the kids shot up their hand. Oh, I think I can, I think I can. And I'm like, well, if you guys get ready, we can race over there and then start our hike. And it was like something flipped a switch. It was like night and day. These kids magically started to move quickly quicker than Usain Bolt off the blocks in an 100 meter race. Like these kids were hustling fast because they could all imagine the glory that would come with beating a camp counselor in the race. Now, obviously none of them actually beat me in that race because I wasn't gonna lose. It only took one little thing to get these kids to move a lot faster. And it was simply because they weren't focused on the fact that they had to stop swimming and leave the beach anymore, but they were now focused on what could happen if they beat me and the glory that would come with beating your counselor in a race and they were excited Excited to do something and although this story has nothing to do with how to beat your phone addiction it demonstrates a concept that makes it easier than you ever thought possible to stop being addicted to your phone My name is Kobe Wallace and I'm helping young people all over the world stop being addicted to their phone and actually start living an enjoyable life. Now, if you're near my age, maybe a little older, maybe a little younger, you grew up with technology. It's no secret that Gen Z is all addicted to their phones. Everyone in modern society uses technology in some way or another, whether it's watching Netflix or watching a video like this, we've become accustomed to having this thing in our everyday life. And the thing is, a lot of people want to spend less time on their phone. They know scrolling on Instagram and TikTok and just spending time consuming mindless content isn't that good for them and they want to learn how to quit but they just can't seem to bring themselves to do it because they find themselves getting bored and then just opening up their phone again and starting to scroll on the apps again and they feel bad when they do it because they're trying to quit but they don't actually know how to get off of it and the thing is if you find yourself still being super addicted to your phone i don't blame you because these apps are quite literally designed to be as addictive as possible but with that being said there is something that you can do to break away from your phone addiction and it will make it so much easier to not only spend less time scrolling on social media but actually start living an enjoyable life and the one change that i did to break my phone addiction was simply discovering what my purpose was. When I say the word purpose, I don't necessarily mean the thing that you're gonna do for the rest of your life, but it's just the current thing in your life that resonates most with you. It's the thing that brings you so much joy when you do it. It's the thing that gives your life meaning right now and a lot of us we don't have that thing we don't have a certain activity that we really enjoy and that's why we find ourselves scrolling on social media all the time we're not necessarily scrolling on social media because we like to do it but it's something that fills our time and it prevents us from being bored and the thing is a lot of us are afraid to feel bored because boredom makes us kind of feel lonely and it makes us kind of question what the meaning of our lives is right now but it's only once you can actually feel that boredom that you can find something to fill it now 
Finding your purpose isn't actually as difficult as it might seem. It comes down to just doing things that you genuinely like. It comes down to doing something that puts you in what's called a flow state. Now, a flow state is kind of just what athletes call being in the zone or when you're doing something where you just feel present. Time doesn't really pass by all that quick. You are just focused on what you're doing. You are 100% present. You're not just thinking about the future or worrying like about the mistakes you made in the past you can just focus on what you're doing so for me speaking is a big one just talking in front of a camera or talking to other people about concepts that i'm actually passionate about and feel the need to help with and articulate myself in a way that i feel can help other people that puts me in a flow state as soon as i start talking even though sometimes i may make i might make mistakes time simply kind of just passes by and i'm just focused on what i'm doing another thing for me is songwriting and creating music when i start to pick up my guitar or start working on a project in logic once i kind of get those first few notes down and i have my roadmap the ideas just start flowing and it's so enjoyable just to see where that creative energy takes me and see what i can come up with that puts me in that flow state as well now you may not think that you have something like this in your life right now and you think like well i don't know my purpose i don't know how to find it but the thing is purpose really just comes down to mission it comes down to what you want to be working on right now what is your goal what do you want to progress at it needs to be something that you can build on it needs to be something that you can continue doing for a long period of time and this is what a lot of people search for either in video games because it gives them that progression or they fill it with social media they find something to fill their time but the only way to break away from that is to find something in real life that you genuinely enjoy doing i remember back in march of 2020 when covid first started this was really a time where i found myself consuming more on social media and netflix and youtube and all this useless content because i found myself with more time i still had things like i that i like to do mainly basketball and music but i was spending far much more time actually consuming than doing those things and the and this was a time where I was actually able to break away from social media and really reduce my consumption. And it was simply because I started doing two things. One, I started lifting weights. This was something that I fell in love with doing because it, allows, it allowed me to see that progression. It allowed my brain to have something to always constantly be thinking about. I was either thinking about the workout that I was gonna do and making my plan, or I was thinking about the meals that I was gonna eat. And some people may call this unhealthy, but for me, it was an, it was an obsession that brought me a lot of balance in my life because I was no longer just consuming mindless content. I was actually doing something that I'd enjoyed and I was seeing progress at it. And it also helped me to form a lot of the a lot of the best friendships that I ever had. And the second thing that I started doing at that time was songwriting. And this kind of changed everything in terms of what I wanted to pursue in my life once I started doing it. And I didn't even have any real gear. I was just really first starting to learn to play guitar. So I would just sit there and write metal songs and record them on GarageBand on my iPhone. And I'd have a blast. I could sit there for four hours and just work on one song, even though it wasn't very good or it wasn't like, I wasn't ever planning to really release that recording. It was giving me something to do that I enjoyed. My time was now filled with things that I genuinely enjoyed, even though it was COVID and I still couldn't necessarily see a lot of people and my life didn't get that busy, which it eventually did, which I'll get into in a second. But it gave me something to be thinking about. It gave me something to, it gave me that meaning that I was looking for in life and trying to fill with social media and consumption. And that's the reason why most people go back because they can't find that meaning. Now for about the next year, I was still consuming a little bit, like I was still watching some Netflix here and there and YouTube videos, but I was in a much more healthy place than I was before instead of spending seven, eight hours just all consuming all this mindless content every single day. And it wasn't till COVID kind of really started to die down and I turned 16 when I started to really start gigging as a musician and starting going to the gym with a lot of other people. And my life just kind of filled up with busy things because I was doing things I was genuinely passionate about. I was playing a lot more sports, working on music all the time, training in the gym with like two different coaches at once and still trying to work out with my friends. Like I was doing a lot of different things. And that eventually just got me to the point where I had no more time to consume social media. And some people may think this is a bad thing, but for me, it was the best thing ever because every, pretty much every hour of the day, even though I was always occupied with something, it was something that I liked and it was something that genuinely fulfilled me. And I'm not saying you need to go to the extent that I did where pretty much you're always doing something different and you don't really have 
days off. But for me, that's just what I love to do. I just love to always be working on something. I never really stop thinking about the work that I'm doing, whether that be for, through YouTube or for music. I'm always just thinking about how I can progress more. Even the things that I do in my downtime are contributing to the progress that I want to make, whether it be exercising or reading books or just talking to people about like life experiences stuff and just traveling. It's something that's aligned with my purpose, which is trying to develop myself to the point where I can help other people and do that same thing through music. And I know it can be kind of difficult and kind of daunting to go down this path of trying to discover what your purpose is but technically right now if you don't know your purpose you already have a purpose your purpose right now is to find your meaning it's to find your why and that is your current purpose with purpose we always have something that's different at first when i was a kid it was like soccer that's all i wanted to do then that kind of turned to basketball that's all i wanted to do then that turned to weightlifting then music and it always keeps evolving so you can see yourself at stage one right now you're in that zone where your purpose right now is to find your purpose. So now you can start filling your time with trying new things and trying to discover what that thing is for you that's gonna bring that light into your life. And I know it can seem kind of intimidating, but trust me when I tell you that discovering your reason why and really starting to pursue your passion will bring so many new things into your life. It doesn't just come with filling your time, but the mental health and the physical and just like, the overall quality of your life will improve so much because you're gonna have something that brings substance into your life. You're not just blankly gonna be scrolling on social media trying to get dopamine hits because you're bored. You need to be bored to actually go and find what it is you're meaning and it's hard. I remember what those days were like when I didn't feel like my life had any meaning and how empty it felt. But looking back on those times, it gave me that reason to go and find something better and gave me that reason to improve. And I would never have the life that I have right now if I didn't go through that period of time where I didn't know what my reason was. Now, with that being said, if you don't know already, my name is Colby Wallace. I'm an 18 year old artist from Canada. And if you like videos like this on how to beat your phone addiction and want to hear some of my original music, you should subscribe. I'm not sure what you're waiting for. It's a win for you. It's a win for me. And again, if you really want to break your phone addiction, there is a free community linked in the description also my original music is also in the description and with that being said never stop creating my friend and i will see you in the next one goodbye